Oh, this is definitely 16. All right, so let's have a closer look at the electronic lead screw that I've implemented on the uh, Atlas six inch lathe. That's a 618 Atlas or Craftsman. They're all the same. Um, I implemented the um, system built by James at Cloud42. Um, so what that basically is as far as components, uh, it's running on a Texas Instruments uh, board uh, with a shield that was developed by uh, James at Cloud42. I also purchased the um, front panel for the uh, control uh, from, from James. Uh, beyond that, um, I bought and built everything else myself. So what we're looking at here is a uh, 48 volt power supply for a M drive 23 motor. This M drive 23 motor is an integrated uh, driver motor assembly. Um, I have it configured right now at eight micro steps. So that is 200 uh, steps per revolution and then eight micro steps. And the software I've configured at three times eight, so at 24, because it's a one to three gearing that I've going on, that's going on here. Um, I have a encoder up here that is one to one connected to the spindle with these pulleys. Uh, this is an 800 resolution encoder. So I believe that, well, that translates to 3,200 steps on the encoder itself. So um, let me close this up. Um, if we turn this on, that was popped, that was the stepper motor that kicks in. So we saw the logo come by from Plow42. Uh, right now it is default set at um, feed rate of uh, 5000. Uh, and it translates directly from the spindle. So the spindle uh, movement, let me... Uh, I've been threading, so actually let me loosen this here so I can actually turn this, but um, so the clicking you hear now is actually clicking on the stepper motor. So as the uh, spindle turns, uh, it's read by the encoder and then the encoder translates it to the number of steps for the stepper motor uh, based on the uh, lead screw, which in this case is a 16 thread uh, TPI lead screw on this lathe. Um, so technically speaking, if I set the, uh, instead of doing a feed rate, I'm going to go a, uh, to threading and I'll set it to, let's say 16 TPI. That means that for a full rotation of this guy, the spindle, uh, so this now translates one to one, uh, for the spindle. Um, let's see. So what else? So I've removed all the gears, but I have not altered anything on the lathe itself. So this encoder is actually attached with a bolt that normally holds the um, the handle for the gears up here. So the gears have just been removed. Uh, the motor itself is attached to the table. So there's again, nothing happening here. I had to um, bore out this pulley and put a keyway in it and the same thing for this one. This one was bored out at the 0.75 inch to fit on the actual spindle shaft. This one was bored out at a, a quarter of an inch or maybe half an inch for it to fit on the, uh, with a keyway again, to fit on the actual lead screw. So that's the setup. Um, if I start the motor now, Let's make sure. Oh. Tension the belts. All right, so right now it's in the threading mode. And the RPM is 212. And if I, and if so you can basically, because I'm running 16 TPI, it is now, the lead screw is actually running one to one with the actual spindle. Turn this off and I'll put it back to a regular feed rate. Uh, so let me actually turn off the lead screw mechanism. Let's push this one back in. Hang on a second minute. And I'm going to set this to feed rate back. And so now it should feed rate at uh, 5,000. 
And so and if I turn the motor on now, so now it'll actually spin at closer to 1400. And if I engage the lead screw, it's traveling at 5000. Change this up or down. So now it's going super slow. Speed it up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you can play around with the different speeds on this box. Or you can make music. So yeah, that's the lead screw setup. So this is the first test I did with 16 threads per inch. Um, it came out okay. So yeah, so that's the um, electric electronic lead screw by James at Cloud42 applied to the um, Atlas or Craftsman 618, the six inch lathe. So we brought a 1940s machine a little bit into the 21st century.